YouTube, Arlene here once again, and this week I am cosplaying as Tokopi, the egg Pokemon. Uh, so this was actually inspired by the Detective Pikachu movie that just came out last week. I did go see it opening night with my friend Rob. He went as Pikachu and I as Tokopi, the companions of the original traveling trio. This video was going to be posted last week, however, uh, I went and saw the movie <laughs> immediately after having uh, dental surgery and was not able to really speak all that well. Trust me, laughing during this movie was not the easiest task in the world, but we got through it and I absolutely loved the movie. It was the perfect Pokemon fan movie, in my opinion. So this was just a very simple design, uh, just a white dress. I did what I have done for many of my other dresses. I just took a dress that I currently had in my closet. Uh, this one I actually used my Janet Weiss costume as my uh, template because it did have a similar stretch of fabric. That's another good thing to point out right now actually is that when you're choosing white fabric, uh, you want to spend the extra dollar on something that's a little bit thicker uh, this was not cheap fabric in any shape or form because you do not want it to be see-through. That is a problem you will have with uh, any fabric that is white. You really want to spend that extra dollar. Trust me, you will not regret it. So after I took my template, I actually just adjusted the neckline so that it would be more straight across. And actually, I created these little eggshell chips that like Togepi has. Uh, and then for the actual design patterns, I, cr I created them in Adobe Illustrator. Uh, but I'm sure you can find plenty of templates online. I remember googling it and there were plenty in there. But I was able to fabricate my own, make sure the color was the way that I wanted it and the size was the way that I wanted it as well. It's essentially just one red square, one full red triangle, and then blue and red triangles in all different orientations with the hole cut out in the middle all the way around the base. And then you go ahead and print those shapes out on iron transfer sheets. Uh, these are super, super cheap. You can find them in just about any craft store. I got these at Joann Fabrics. I know you can also get them at Michael's Hobby Lobby and all of that. And just follow the instructions and you just take an iron, you flip the image onto your fabric, you iron it on for a couple seconds, you wait for it to cool, you peel off the paper backing, and then you have your design on your fabric. It's really cool. It's a super easy way to design any fabric the way that you want it, to have any pattern that you want. Obviously, it will be in regular 8.5 by 11 pages of printer paper. Uh, oh, that's another thing, is make sure you're using an ink jet, not a laser jet, when creating these graphics. And that is that. Again, a super simple, easy to make. I actually got quite a, quite a few compliments at the theater uh, walking around going like, hey, we actually, one, we actually dressed up, which is more out of the norm, especially for something kind of more low-key like Pokemon rather than like Harry Potter or one of the Marvel movies. Uh, so we were the only ones there, but we wore it with pride uh, and I think we killed it, honestly. Uh, so I was really happy with the way this came out. And hopefully I'll find another chance to wear it as well, which actually leads me to another fun announcement. I was able to get my New York Comic Con tickets a couple weeks ago, and I got a four-day pass! So, we already have our three characters chosen for Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Now it is time to choose for Thursday, now that that is an option. Uh, so please leave your suggestions down below. I was thinking either Jewel, who is... I, I know I keep going for very obscure characters, but those are just usually the ones I gravitate towards. And another option I was actually thinking is my Harley Quinn in PJs, because I just think this would be really easy to wear around and would just be really fun and simple and not having to go too over the top. It would just be one big fluffy cozy one piece. Uh, it would be quite reminiscent of my Hilda, which would be nice and warm. Uh, and again, just easy to walk in because I cannot stress enough, functionality is key when you're going to a con. No matter how great you want to look, you want to make sure that it will function for you throughout the entire day so you can still enjoy yourself. So that's about all I have for this week. I hope you guys like this video. You know the YouTube drill. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and we will see you guys again soon. Thanks!